Anthropometric research of study costs is one of the additional diagnostic techniques used in orthodontics. This video concerns methods of anthropometric analysis of primary dentition by Dolga Polova. Measurement of mesiodistal tooth size. Mesiodistal size of upper and lower primary teeth is measured between the most distant points of their proximal surfaces in lower incisors along the cutting edge. Space deficit for each tooth is determined by comparison between tooth widths and space available for it in the dental arch. By measuring the width of primary teeth, one can determine individual micro or macrodontia. Ratio of the upper and lower incisors. Tons index is the ratio between sums of mesiodistal width of four upper and four lower permanent incisors. It equals 1.35. This ratio incidence to orthodontic occlusion with normal overjet and overbite on one third of height of the crown. Dolgopolova stated that the same relation exists in the primary dentition. Dolgopolova index is the ratio between sums of mesiodistal width of four upper and four lower primary incisors, which equals 1.3. Anthropometric research of dental arch in transverse plane width. In primary dentition, Dolgopolova proposed to measure width of the dental arches between central and lateral incisors, canines, the first and the second primary molars. Measuring points on primary incisors and canines are located on their palatal cusps on lingual surface. And primary molars in the mesial fissure on the intersection of longitudinal and transverse grooves. The obtained data is compared with the average values. For example, the width of the dental arch in the 5 year old child equals 36 mm in the area of the second primary molars, while the table value is 41 mm. Thus, one can conclude that the dental arch is narrowed in the lateral segment. Anthropometric research of dental arch in sagittal plane length. In primary dentition, Dolgopolova proposed to determine frontal length of dental arch and general length of dental arch. Frontal length of the dental arch is measured from a point between the central incisors to the midpoint of the intercanine line. General length of the dental arch is measured from a point between the central incisors to the midpoint of the intersecond molar line. These values are compared with the table data in accordance with the sum of incisors. For example, general length of the dental arch in the 5-year-old child equals 29 mm, while the table value is 30 mm. Thus, one can conclude that the dental arch is shortened. Width of the apical base. Dolgopolova determined a relation between the total width of the mesiodistal diameters of 10 primary teeth and the width of the apical base. Measuring points are located between root apices of primary canines and the first primary molars in a deepening of alveolar process. The width of apical base in primary dentition amounts to 55.7% of total width of 10 primary teeth on the upper jaw and to 50% on the lower jaw.